Howdy. Recently, uh, we joined this Facebook page. We kind of enjoy it a little bit where they uh, they post a lot of stuff about if you're from West Virginia, do you remember this or do you remember that growing up and stuff. And it's pretty interesting. The other day, uh, we saw this young boy. He's running a weed eater. And uh, I pulled over and stopped. I haven't seen a young person run a weed eater in a long time. <laughs> Uh, back when I was a kid, if I got in trouble, I'd use a uh, a sickle. Just had a handle and a curved blade on it. You had to sharpen that blade and swing it. That's how we cut the weeds out of the ditch line and stuff. And uh, too big of a job, we use what they call a scythe. Use that scythe that's got two handles on it, and it's just a big curved blade. A lot of folks don't know what that is anymore. There's a lot of work, but. It taught you things, especially if you got in trouble, you know. But uh, there's a lot of the old ways that's leaving us. Kids don't carry pocket knives anymore. Not for the right reasons. You carry one since I was a little. So, you see this here? That's a willow tree branch. That's a willow tree. Now, you see how it's green? That's the young branches. As they get older, they start turning brown. Right there, that's not the good part, the brown part. What you want. This is something that I learned years ago. You want that white part underneath that bark. See how easy that come off there? You get you a whole bunch of that, and you can boil it. And it's good for a headache. You drink it like tea and it's good for a headache. A lot of folks don't remember stuff like that. And they should. Uh, excuse me. That you cut them off like that right there. I'm really good at this. And the reason I'm good at this is I used to have to cut a lot of them for my mama. Let's see. You pull all the leaves off of it real good there. See that? Good bendy switch, nice and green. And uh, you whip your kids with it. Yeah, pe people say today that's that's wrong and this and that. Let me tell you what, that boy that was a weed eating that ditch line, he'd had his ass whooped a time or two. Now, those of you that know me real well, you know I make stuff, used to. I'm retired from a plant that I worked at, but also made uh, turkey calls, coyote calls, fishing lures, all kinds of stuff. I've always been making something. Got to where I was selling stuff on the internet, bowls and this and that. And uh, something else I make. Wooden spoons. That's a hand carved, it's made out of sycamore, wooden spoon. You say, what you make that for? Well, my wife likes them. You know, a lot of them people that cook, they like them. Uh, you got to put food grade finish on it and stuff. But they're also good for whooping your kids. Every now and then they need it. Let's see. That's what I remember about growing up in West Virginia. Is uh, if I misbehave, I got my ass whooped. Well, here's a new one for you. I took one of them willow branches on the brown bark on it. So it's got the brown bark on it. I don't like that part for boiling for tea. It doesn't work very good. So I made a magic wand out of it. I carved it out with my pocket knife, put a little knob on the end, a little design. It looks like a Harry Potter magic wand. Your kids will love it. They say, wow, it's a magic wand. Yeah, it's good for whooping your kids with it when they misbehave. <laughs> and uh, here lately, there been a lot of people making stuff like I make stuff. And I thought, wow, that's cool. People are getting innovative. And they've, been, uh, they've had this coronavirus or whatever. And uh, people against masks and people for masks. But then people started getting creative and making their own masks. So I made me a mask. <laughs> Later.